Arasaka! If they hit the car, we're fucked. Cover you! Not half bad. Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at Cyberpunk 277 for the third time, but this time, it's time to look at the next gen patch and see if it's finally what I dreamed of Cyberpunk. Recently released was the 1.5 patch for the consoles and of course PC. The main focus here is that the patch 1.5 also contains the next gen visuals for the Xbox Series X and S and for PlayStation 5 with a hefty download of 50 plus gigabytes on your hard drive. All I have to say is yes, it's about time. Booting up my Xbox Series X, I noticed faster load times along with a darker look, but also much crisper visuals. They are two modes here with performance mode and ray tracing mode. Performance looks great with a 4K dynamic resolution at 60 frames per second, while ray tracing with updated light and shadows does all this at 30 frames per second. The game also feels more responsive at 60 frames, but I actually like to play the game via 30 frames in ray tracing to get the best visuals possible. I have been playing the backwards compatible version of the Series X in the past in quality mode with 30 frames per second solid, so I was used to playing it then. Plus, the game is more story driven than trying to get the best controls possible when you know it's just cyberpunk. I'm really okay with this as I marvel at the visuals and the story anyways. There are also many changes that make the game much more playable with faster loading times and also allowing you to change your appearance finally of V when you look into the mirror in your apartment. Most of the minor changes, and there are a lot of them, bring in a sense of quality of life playthrough that the game finally receives after listening to gamers and taking almost two years to release. I played just about a third of the game before I was so upset at the stage of what the game was when I first got the game in 2020 when I quit. I waited until the next gen patch before I could pick the game up again for the Series X. Dabbling around the differences between PC and its mediocre outcome, the next gen patch was my only hope in jumping back in. All I can say is, I will be playing this game for a while as it really surpassed what I thought the developers at CD Projekt Red would do. The visuals are crisper than ever, with shadows, lighting, upgraded textures, and over quality like night and day compared to what was released in 2020. The game also employs a stable playthrough with no issues to the eye or bugs that truly distract. See your cred. Brick got it. It's all paid out. Brick got it. Huh. I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? First place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Respect. Alright, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan. This is the way the game should have been released, and hopefully Project Red has learned their lesson. Picking up the game prototype. from where I left off as well from the beginning makes me want to start all over as the improvements visually vastly changes the immersion of the game and how you interact with it. I'm no longer rushing through the story, but now actually exploring a rich and beautiful city and environments to truly take in the story to traveling everywhere to incredible vistas, environments the game wants you to explore and actually see. My only con is having enough time to give the game my devoted attention. In 2020, with the pandemic and nothing to do was the perfect time. 
now in 2022, with life getting back to normal, with work, family, gaming, YouTube, and then repeat, it becomes that much harder to truly delve in. I will say though, that this game has come a long way, and is truly finally deserving to play on the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. Cyberpunk 2077 Next Gen Patch 1.5 gets an 8.25 out of 10 for finally delivering on a playable game that isn't the best open world RPG but is one that is visually stunning with a fantastic story and is finally playable. That's it for this hopefully final look at Cyberpunk 2077 Next Gen Patch. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload.